Hi, boys and girls. My name is Karen Colby, and I'm coming to you today as Mother Goose. I like to go into the schools and read to children. I like to read Mother Goose poems, fairy tales, golden books, and just fun stories that I know children will like. I hope that you like stories, too. I bring my friend Feathers, and Feathers likes to listen to stories, too. This story is called Thumbelina. And here's a picture of Thumbelina. And she is playing with some tiny, tiny, tiny insects. Once upon a time, a tiny maiden named Thumbelina lived in a garden. She made her home under a flower. Her bed was a walnut shell, and she had a rose leaf for a blanket. Thumbelina loved living in the garden. All of the bumblebees and dragonflies were her friends. One night, a toad crept through the garden and saw Thumbelina sleeping and thought, what a pretty little wife she will make for my son. Picking up the bed with Thumbelina in it, the toad hopped away. When Thumbelina awoke, she found herself on a lily pad out in the stream. Two large toads were staring at her. The older one said, meet my son. He will be your husband. Croak, croak, her son said, tipping his hat. Thumbelina couldn't bear to think of marrying the toad. As the mother and son swam away, she began to cry. Luckily, Fish had been listening nearby, and they felt sorry for Thumbelina. They sent her lily pad floating downstream. Thumbelina sailed past many towns, finally reaching a beautiful country. And here she is on her lily pad. She is tiny, tiny, tiny. And she is sitting on a lily pad, and the fish are helping her to float downstream. We're using our imaginations, aren't we, boys and girls? There, downstream, she wove a, bled, a bed from blades of grass, drank the dew from the leaves, and ate honey from flowers. When the first snow came, Thumbelina took shelter with a field mouse. One day, the mouse took Thumbelina to call on a very rich neighbor, the mole. As they walked through a tunnel to his grand underground home, they came across a dead swallow. That's a bird. Thumbelina was very sad, but the mole just said, how glad I am not to be a bird. He ordered his workers to cover up the hole in the tunnel roof through which the swallow had fallen. That night, Thumbelina could not sleep. Taking a blanket, she crept out of bed to the tunnel. Farewell, dear one, she whispered. Spreading the warm blanket over the swallow's cold body, she laid her head on the bird's chest. But what do you think she heard then? A thump, a heartbeat. The bird was not really dead, only frozen, and the blanket had warmed him back to life. Here is Thumbelina. Thumbelina covered the bird up because she felt badly for it and she warmed it up, and the bird hadn't been dead. The bird was frozen, and when the bird warmed up, it started to move around, and it came back to life. All that winter and on to spring, Thumbelina secretly visited the swallow, bringing him food and water. Then what, one day, she rushed to him, crying, the mole wants to marry me. Knowing that Thumbelina didn't want to marry the mole any more than she had wanted to marry the toad, the swallow said, fly away with me. Thumbelina quickly agreed. She climbed on his back and away they flew. After many days, the bird set Thumbelina down gently in a field of flowers. As tiny people who lived among the blossoms rushed up and welcomed her, Thumbelina felt warm and happy. 
Finally, she had come home. And here it shows Thumbelina on the back of the swallow flying to her home where all of these little tiny people live. When the swallow got her back here, she was very happy indeed because she was home. We all feel, feel safe and happy when we're home, don't we boys and girls? I'll be back.